Hi everyone. Today uh, we will see about some uh, more knowledge about the business partner. That what is is what is going to be happen when I will create uh, the business partner and I will extend that business partner as a customer or as a supplier. When uh, we do have a different number range uh, for the business partner and the supplier. So let's check it out. Uh, I will see as I have already created some account group. Uh, so. Uh, for uh, more details of creation of the account group and assigning of the number in uh, you can follow my uh, uh, previous videos that I have uploaded for creation of the business partner and this configuration also I will put that link into the description so that you will uh, go through that so I am coming uh, on the topic so let's check it out as PRO IMG reference and I do have uh, cross application component right now the business partner correct the business partner and I do have option of business partner basic setting now business partner and number range and grouping so here I will show you that I have created one business partner uh, which is having the number range is hashtag y and that the number range uh, detail and I will show you which number I am using again the hashtag y uh, let's see the interval the interval I have created is this one this is an interval that I have created for my business partner right so this is my business partner number range and I am keeping the number range sorry my bad over here and I will again copy this one number range here right now the thing is our vendor has to create see now we you can see the uh, count group of the number range is different and uh, uh, the sorry the business partner number range different and the customer and uh, vendor account group account number range having different right mm -hmm. the same number range I have used for the vendor as well mm. I will show you in the system also that uh, which number range, range I have used against this one right so first of all uh, let's see I have created that account group AV01 for the supplier and AD01 for the customer and AV01 for the business account that's for the business partner mm -hmm. now coming back to the SAP I have showed you the number range of the business partner now I will show you the number range of that account group against so, yeah SAP business partner will have don't have to see in the cross application component will have to see in the financial accounting financial accounting account receivable and payable customer account group master data preparation for so I have created that account group which one is my account group I'll show you the account group I have created for AD01 right uh, so I'll go to the position customer account group AD01 right so AD01 I have already created that sold to party okay and number and which number range I have assigned uh, AD01 in the AD01 come to the point AD01 having the number range is S1 and what's uh, S1 number range S1 number range is see, see this is the number that we have used and I have one more thing that I have kept it kept it is external why because the number range is going to be fetch uh, from the with respect to this number range and if I wanted to keep internal system will generate automatically also so here we have checked uh, now again we have to check into the supplier master the same thing I'll check master data preparation so I have created which account group I have created AV01 right so let's check about the AV01 av01 this is the av01 vendor i have created now uh, we'll see the number in right assign number in create assign number in so in that av01 bp number in is assigned right now let's check out the bp against that what kind of number in is having assigned under the bp so we do have uh, where is it yeah so this is a number in that we have kept for the bp Zero. as it is external number in that 
so nr is not going to be update again the uh, external number n now uh, let's uh, start to create the business partner and i will extend that the business partner as a customer or as a vendor bp i have started a t code as a bp now my grouping code uh, sorry select the organization now the grouping code i do have a grouping code is what ab01 i believe right yes ab01 i do have a grouping code so i have selected the grouping code ab01 test this is the supplier that i am selecting uh, test am mg road b6201 noida region 09 i have entered now let's select the language is english and the mobile number is some of this now if i'll go to create a system is asking to the system has created this one number in right now if i will extend this supply this uh, business partner as a as a uh, supplier let's check it out what is going to be happen for extend of the supplier if l we do have uh, f l v uh, and 0 0 right now so we'll go to the vendor general data yeah so when i'm going to save it system is going throwing an error that please enter the external supply number why because we do have a external number in has been assigned over here and i'll have to give a supplier code in between this number to this number then only system will allow to create so before uh, going to create search let's check it out sc 16 n whether any, any supplier has been generated against this or not lfa1 uh, so we have a count group over here account group yeah so what's the account group of the vendor yeah av01 i have entered the account group over here click on execute so we'll get some data yeah okay so number one has been already created so what i'm going to do i'm going to select the different number now right at zero two now system has auto pick that the vendor code is this one and the external number is this one it means what is going to be happen if we do have a different number range in the business partner and with respect to our customer and the supplier system is going to ask the external number against that particular vendor or particular customer right i am going to save it now this has been updated when i will check the refresh the table second entry has been came to came over here now the same way we'll have to proceed for uh, flcu00 flcu00 flcu that is for the customer flcu00 is the standard uh, standard thing in the customer general data also the system will ask the external number range right so in the same way we'll have to give the external number range just check it out whether uh, any uh, vendor has been created or not in a1 so let account account group so what's the account group we do have account group for the customer is this one okay no my bad ad01 ad01 this is the account group that we have selected we do have a customer okay that's great then what i'm going to do i'm going to do the same so i'm going to save it this vendor this business partner is also accepted as the table if i will refresh the table see the second entry has been generated now if i wanted to check uh whether uh, what is going to be happen if the number is going to be internal then what is going to be happen so can you make such things i'm going to save it 
no the number range is internal and same way we will uh, do for the customer as well let's check it out for the customer assign number range that will be that has already been assigned create number range interval hashtag y okay as tech y let's create as an internal I'm going to save it now the thing has been saved now let's check out the impact that what is impact over the bp right so the same way i will select uh, the business partner ab01 that the grouping test 1 2 3 4 5 system 1 2 3 4 5 6 right and d and ds group ds group road i add b3 201 307 right i have entered the <coughs> language let's enter the mobile number I am going to save it. Now it is it's created. Now let us check it out whether I am going to extend that as a FLBN00. Okay. The same thing I will have to save it. As a system, supplier specific data were not set due to error. AV01. Now see, so the number in system auto pick that number in uh, next to whatever has been consumed against the uh, tables against that entries which uh, whichever we can see in a LFA one table. Control F account group. Account group is what AV zero one. As per the previous entry, just this, this two has been uh, generated. This two has been we have created now. The third one is auto system. System has auto pick that one and system created that number range. System is going to pick the number range, uh, whatever has been consumed till now. The next number system is going to pick when we do have an internal number range. But in case we do have external, in such case we will have to give the manual number while creating while extending that business partner as a customer or as a vendor. So uh, thank you guys.